Hey guys, how you doing? I go by the name Smay. They call me the king of Afrobeats. Co-founder of Afro Nation and we are live in Portugal. Portimao. If you're not here, you're missing out. And you're watching 77% on DW. This. Thank you so much for granting us this opportunity uh, for us to speak to you today. You are the king of entertainment, king of Afrobeats. How do you feel today? Wow, wow. What a title. King of Afrobeat. Well, I think um, I'm uh, I, I'm King of Afrobeat because I'm the greatest servant of Afrobeat. You know, I've um, put my life down to serving the culture, serving you know um, the community. You know, this for me is my life. I've always been in music from a very young age. By the way, um, going to the village with my father. You know, go into the festivals. We there used to be the masquerade festivals. So that foundation and me going back to the village to experience that from Lagos really, I like, got me excited about entertainment. So I, I I started collecting music at a very young age, collecting music from different you know uh, legends, different uprising artists. I was just collecting it and putting it in my iPod. You know, at a very young age and. Yeah, uh, when I moved to the UK, I saw a space in the market to promote Afrobeat. You come from a country where the population is huge. I mean, you come from Nigeria. There are a lot of youths right now that will be looking at you. We call them the 77 percenters that would want to be like you. And they feel like maybe it's something that can just happen like that. So for you to be telling the story that you put in so much hard work, what advice would you have for them today? As a young man myself, I moved to the UK at the age of 18, 19. And at that part, taking, putting myself in their shoes right now as young people, you know, trying to find their path. I would say to them, first of all, believe in yourself. Believe in, you know, hold on, hold on to the things that make you happy, that gives you joy. Um, know who you are, know your purpose. You know, know your talents, know your gift, know uh, your creative mindset and be willing to serve with all of these things. And identifying your gift is knowing what you're good at, you know, what drives you, what makes you happy, what's, you know, what's in you, you know, and also knowing your DNA, knowing your roots, knowing your culture, knowing your tradition knowing your heritage, knowing who you are. Yeah, we know that there's always been talent. Africans have always been talented, but the way Afrobeats is exploding right now around the world is amazing. Why do you think it's happening like that now, right <laughs> now? First of all, I think social media is very, very powerful. So we're in a very good time where um, social media can pass a message around in seconds and that's what it's doing to our music and also you know um, Afro Nation being the biggest vessel right now you know um, showcasing this beautiful talents that we have in Africa you know showcasing David O. Whiskey you know um, Bonner Boy headlining our uh, you know our festivals every you know every season you know, in different parts of the world. Now, before I let you go, I know you're a very busy man and you really granted us some time. I've just got a few social questions for you. Um, what is your favorite or what do you prefer? Cape Town or Lagos? Lagos all my life. <laughs> Lagos for life. Afrobeat or dental? <laughs> Afrobeat is right here. <laughs> <laughs> but I love dancehall too. Fela Anikola Po Kuti Abamieda. Where do you see Afro Nation in the next five years? Whew. I think we're gonna be we're gonna be in China, we're gonna be in India, wow. we're gonna be in uh, Dubai, Brazil, and like I said, the beauty of it is people coming together to celebrate you know, one another, and you know, um, the music is doing that, right.